Good morning everyone, it's Joker, and today we're back with another slime video. And as you can see, the 300th day release anniversary recruit has started as of earlier today. Uh, we do get a new banner, we get the special login bonus, which gives us, uh, looks like up to 10 tickets, 100 crystals, and two, 10 of the lizard meat buns, which came from the art that the Gabaru voice actor drew two live streams ago, and they said they were going to make it into an actual in-game food, so here it is. Uh, according to their Twitter post, it says that if you give it to Gabaru and Soka, they get extra bond XP from it, so uh, if they're not already highly bond leveled up for you, then go ahead. It's only good for them, so there's no point in hanging onto it and giving it to someone else. So give it to Soka, give it to Gabaru, call it good. These tickets, unfortunately, are just normal Tempest Banner tickets, but you get a free 100 crystals out of it, you know, after seven days, so that's something. Uh, Jubilee is going on. I have been doing uh, my runs, trying to get some very early testing done, so we could start recording the video probably tomorrow night and get the first one out probably Wednesday. Yeah, Wednesday is what I'm shooting for. Uh, we also, let's go check the news. So we've got the recruit, we've got the anniversary campaign in here. Thank you for playing East Kai Memories. It's been 300 days since the release of the game. We sincerely appreciate all of you to show our gratitude. We're showing, we're doing a campaign starting today. As always, the development team is hard at work keeping our Chancellor's comments and opinions in mind to ensure your continued enjoyment of Isekai memories. So we have a new quest where you can clear it and you get a hundred crystals. Uh, I checked it out already, I haven't beaten it yet, but it's literally 50 EP or 50,000 EP, so it's pretty much a free 100 crystals. And then you get the hundred that you get from logins, so there's 200 crystals right there. Uh, there is a sale on packs, which isn't really that great of a sale, to be perfectly honest with you. We'll check it out. Uh, there's the login bonus, and that is it. The former Lizardman Gabriel so could get a greater bond boost than from other food items. There you go. Uh, Lizard buns will be added to the Tempest Coin Bazaar on the 30th. Oh, okay. So they will be a permanent item starting next week. Okay. So that, I mean, that's cool. It gives you food to immediately start like boosting up Gabriel and Soka even more and Tempest Coin Bazaar I mean eh. like yeah you get a lot of them but what are you really buying out of the bazaar you're buying tickets and that's about it so I'm I'm fine with them adding new things uh, lizard buns the food I'm suggested in the June 28th yep okay so yeah we get two essentially 200 free crystals you get the equivalent of no well, you get you know, 10 tickets, 10, 10 buns, and then the banner. So let's check out the banner real fast. So this banner is actually the biggest bait that I've ever seen in my entire time playing this game. Because we know that Space 2.0 is coming next week. The new meta changes next week. We don't know exactly what day. I assume it's going to be... Uh, oh, hold on. I assume it's going to be on the 29th, but we have yet to get confirmation of a live stream for next month, so tentatively the 29th, maybe the 30th. But we also have the one-year anniversary in October, so one month after that. And we don't really get that many free crystals, right? So you really probably should be saving for the one year anniversary. But look at this banner. It has Earth Hawkro, one of the most, like, one of the best protectors in the game. It has the masked hero, who is still probably the best unit in the game for overall usage. Earth Benimaru is good. He is placed highly on my tier list because of his orb steal and his orange boosting. Um, Soka, unfortunately, really still does not have a place in the game because there's no super long content where you need that defense and that skill uh, resetting. Leon is still a very good support for the light team, especially light 2.0. Velzard, I mean, if you don't have the new Hanada, she'll work as a DPS. 
Alice is probably the weakest unit on the banner as far as a battle unit is concerned. And then Earth Val is the best Earth DPS in the game. This is unquestioned because we've only had one Earth meta. But they're the only 5 star units in, in, in the banner. So if we go down here and check it out, it's only Alice, Velzard, Hero, Lumi, Benny, and Leon. And then we get a whole bunch of 4 stars. And then you go down to the Protectors and it's just Hakuro and just Soka. So this is a very, very hard banner for people who don't have the Hero who don't have Hakuro, who need Hakuro and Hero. And it even says, all five-star characters are popular, Heroes Jubilee mainstays. Well, no crap, because most of the strategies that I put out have Hakuro. And if you don't have Hakuro, you're just gonna score less. It, it's just a fact of life. And if you don't have the hero, then 90% of the strategies don't work, even if you have Hakuro. <laughs> if you don't have the hero and her rewind, then your score is going to be significantly less. And these are the first time these two banner, these two units have really come back on a banner. I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah, I think so. Actually, now that I think about it, this is the first time they've come back. So it's hard for me to tell people to skip this banner. It is super bait, right? Because all these units are good, mostly. 80% of the units are good. Very good, actually, in my opinion. But you should logically be saving for the one-year anniversary or the start of the next space meta, depending on, you know, what you're really going for. If you... Because, you know, the half anniversary gave us the hero, and she has remained relevant for five months now, which is a long time in a gacha game, which is why they're continually trying to phase her out by giving other units guaranteed crits and trying to get people off of using her. She's just too powerful, though. Like, she is the best unit in the game. Hakuro is one of the best protectors in the game for all-purpose usage uh, next to Shizu. I mean, you could you could argue either one of them, and I, I wouldn't really fight you. you could, I, I could be like, I like Shizu more, and you'd be like, I like Hakuro more, and I'd just be like, okay, I see the logic. He's stupendously useful. I don't use that word a lot, stupendously. Um, I mean, this is essentially a, a really good Earth banner, because it's got Hakuro, Benny Mario, and Valentine. And then it's got Alice and Velzard, Leon, Soka, I guess, but then the hero. So, uh, personal opinion, I still think you should save for the one-year anniversary. I think that everyone should skip the space meta that's coming next month. Uh, I just... The space team is still very, very powerful. What they're going to do to it in 2.0, we will see. I assume they're going to make it very, very good as well to get people to summon before the anniversary so everyone has to buy crystals. That's how gacha games work. That's how they want you to spend and spend and spend and buy and buy and buy because, you know, power creep. You make the next meta better than the last, you gotta make this space meta better than the last space meta, which <laughs> I can't wait to see what they do for it. Uh, a lot of people are speculating that it's going to be a defensive meta because the old space meta was so offensively based, stacks on stacks of damage. Space Millum still one of the best nukers to the day, maybe replaced by Hanada now in equivalent settings. This banner, though, very, very tempting. The sales, though, are not. So we click on the buy button and we have a 350, a 6, and two packs of the 1500. Not what I would call glorious sales. So I don't recommend people buy these. They will have better sales during the anniversary. They'll have ones where you get a guaranteed new, like new, new unit. They'll have much better sales. That's where you should be. If you're planning on spending, you should just save your money until the anniversary we're so close we haven't ever had a one-year anniversary so god knows what they're gonna do god knows what the units are gonna be who knows what the meta is gonna be for the one-year anniversary we already have these metas right yes hawkrow and hero are great units they're very heavily trying to phase them out though and we know that starting in september they're revamping heroes jubilee so i don't know if they're gonna be relevant we don't know. We don't know anything about it. So summoning for units that may be irrelevant, quote-unquote, 
mm, probably not the best move in the world. But again, they are your crystals. You may do what you want with them. If you really, really want the hero and you really, really want Hakuro, then this is probably one of your best times to get them. Be my guest. Let me know in the comments if you summoned, how they went, and if you were able to pull anything useful. But that's it for me, guys. Take it easy, and I'll see you later.